Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I was scrolling through some of my old videos and I saw a video of me two and a half years ago when I first started this whole fitness influencing thing. And it was so crazy for me to watch me back then and see how much I've grown. So I wanted to make a video that was more of an updated version of how much my life has changed since I started doing what I do. And, and basically, you know, at the core, if I had to like write down on my taxes, what is written on my taxes is I'm a fitness coach. Now it's such a large umbrella because a lot of you guys see that I'm on social media, I see them doing photo shoots and I'm hanging out with other babes doing this. So like what what is it that a fitness coach does? And I think a lot of people think that it's more like a personal trainer, but what a fitness coach does is motivates and supports people to get started and to continue on their fitness journey. It is so hard for so many people to know what to do and, and know what to expect. And so that's what I do as a fitness coach is through my experiences, be able to mentor other people, get started on their journey. When I first started doing this, I just did it for my own accountability. I was never consistent in my own fitness journey. I was always just like all over the place. I bought so many different PDFs, tried so many different fitness programs, got gym memberships, all of that stuff, and nothing ever really worked. I was into fitness, but I still struggled with motivation, and I definitely struggled with consistency. And so when I found out that I could work on my health and fitness journey and help other people do it at the same time, I knew that it was going to be good for me as far as accountability goes. But I had no idea that it would take me to where I am today, that I could build a life-changing business, that I could do what I do. You know, so many people ask, like, how do you afford to live abroad? And how do you have your husband at home with you and, you know, your kid and all of that stuff? Like, what is it that actually creates an income for you? And I think that so many people think that my income comes alone from being an influencer, but it comes from my main business, which is being a fitness coach and helping other people do that. And because I've made it a goal of mine to be consistent with my my journey and to help other people do it too I've seen immense success and that's what pays for you know all of this that's what pays for the travel that's pays for my lifestyle that's how I put food on the table before I started doing all of this I really struggled with confidence I didn't believe in myself I didn't you know I didn't think that I had any value I didn't even finish college I didn't finish a lot of things in my life I was the person that always quit everything that I you know started I would start out really passionate and then as soon as things got hard I would quit doing it. So when I decided to open up my own fitness business, I knew that I had to commit to seeing it through and that I couldn't quit when things got hard because the truth of the matter was I was living in a very not nice place. I was in debt. I was unsure of myself. I didn't know what life path I wanted to do. I hated my job. All I really wanted out of coaching was to one, get my fitness journey in check and two, be able to leave that job that I hated so, so much and I never wanted to work for somebody again. I always saw these people on Instagram, you know, traveling the world and getting to do that as their job, you know, not even being a travel blogger because I don't think that blogging is necessarily my passion. I feel like I have a lot to say, but like blogging specifically isn't my passion. So I knew I didn't want to become like some sort of travel blogger, but I wanted that life. And I saw the opportunity in coaching to create that kind of life that I wanted where I didn't have to work for anybody, that I could set my own rules, set my own schedule and live life on my own terms. And that's really the beauty of what what coaching has done for me. That's what it's given me. It's given me my confidence. It's given me consistency in my journey and it's been able to provide a life for me that I would not been able to do on a regular salary and I would definitely not be able to do it on somebody else's terms if I was having to go and work a nine to five job. You know, I, I wouldn't have the flexibility that I do today. And so that's really what I love about all of this is that I've been able to create the life that I always wanted and it's given me the confidence to be the woman that I always wanted to be. And that really meant so much to me being able to transform myself into the woman that I wanted to be an example for my daughter because I didn't want her to grow up struggling with the same weight loss issues that I was going through and confidence issues and not knowing what to do in life. My parents really did not appreciate that I didn't finish school. They thought that I would suffer and that I wouldn't be able to find a job. And I knew that that wasn't my life path. I knew that doing something bigger with my life 
and having an impact directly on somebody's life was something that I was more interested in and traveling the world and getting to share that with people. That was my true passion and it was only through being able to commit to my fitness coaching business that I was able to acquire all of this in my life and, and see that kind of fulfillment that I was always looking for. So that's why I always tell people that even if you don't think that you can do this and maybe you don't know it's your passion, it's something that you want to try, especially if you're looking for a little bit of extra income, a little bit of extra freedom in your life. You don't know where this road can take you. And taking that first leap of faith is really scary because I can tell you, I was really scared. I was super in debt when I, before I started doing this, I actually had to borrow money to get started to open up my fitness business. And it was really embarrassing for me to ask my mom as like, you know, a 29 year old, I was like 30 years old actually. As a 30 year old to ask my mom for money, it was not the place that I wanted to be, but I knew that I didn't want that to be a reoccurring theme in my life. And that's why I had to take that leap of faith and I had to try this and I had to make that commitment like no matter what I'm gonna make this work and I'm so happy that I saw myself through because obviously I'm getting to live a life that only I could have imagined years ago so thank you guys so much for this video I hope that it gives you a little bit of inspiration and lets you see how taking one little small step and, and doing something that maybe you aren't familiar with and getting out of your comfort zone can reap so many more benefits than you can ever imagine.